make this presentation short and give you enough time to enjoy tea and coffees. Right, as James introduced, that's a piece of uh, work, a uh, collaboration work between uh, Tianjin University in China and the uh, University of Reading Us. Um, the title of this is um, an acid-based local <coughs> registration method for satellite imagery. Right, um, briefly introduction to satellite to remote sensing and image registration. Um, I probably will skip those two because I'm sure all of you know what is remote sensing and the image uh, registration and intro uh, introduce and some techniques involved in this work. Uh, the first is ACID uh, algorithm and improved RANSAC. Um, localization of registration area, and finally, I will uh, present some experiments and, and analysis. Uh, right, here actually we had this, uh, two pictures from Google uh, Images. You can see the satellite, the uh, characteristic is uh, high orbit and large coverage. Uh, registration basically is to uh, construct a mosaic image or 3D, uh, 3D object or 3D surface from uh, various images taken in different, uh, by different cameras or by different, uh, <coughs> at a different situation. So that's, um, yeah, the background, I said something about the background. Back background actually is for the Chinese Channel 2. Uh, moon exploration. So actually, the camera is a push, uh, push broom linear camera. So you can see the payload is like this. The satellite have two cameras mounted with the fixed angles to focus on same things. <coughs> so to try to uh, re try to acquire the moon surface situation. Right. Um, challenges, issues. Require high registration accuracy to reconstruct uh, to reconstruction uh, to reconstruct the moon surface. Uh, however, there is no uh, control point. We couldn't really set control point there. Um, we could generate a control point uh, automatically. However, there are many many machines. How to select uh, the good machine which can help us to reconstruct the three D surface of the moon. Um, and also uh, automatically obtain a registration uh, region in which the control points distributed uniformly. So that's the three challenges and we <coughs> proposed three methods to solve the problem. The first is to use the uh, ACID. ACID stands for Affine Scale Environment Feature Transform uh, used for extracting the raw control point and then use improved RANSAC uh, algorithm to try to exclude the we said is bad control point. There are so many matching uh, matching matching point and how to uh, contain the good point and exclude the bad point. We uh, proposed another method, uh, which is improved uh, IM RANSAC, and uh, finally we uh, proposed a um, criteria uh, or measure we call it S criteria to <coughs> try to we find the area which we thought is matched very well. Right, the whole process is like this. We have the stereo image from the uh, push broom, uh, uh, push broom uh, linear cameras, and then apply acid, uh, and then uh, improved RANSAC, uh, apply S criteria for local um, Basically, it's localization. There are so many points. How to uh, how to keep the good points for the registration or reconstruction? That's we applied S criteria, and then because we need to have this uh, reprojection, therefore we use the uh, optimi uh, LM optimization method to give us a good um, or low residue, and finally is the registration. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, later you would, if you are interested in ACID uh, itself, you can refer to this original paper we presented here. Um, and we also published our work in remote sensing. I will give you the information in the last slides. If you are interested in this uh, piece of work, you can 
the key point is use SIFT um, algorithm. Uh, a five SIFT is have uh, cameras in different positions with different scales at different uh, view angles. Um, Ransack, I'm sure most of you know Ransack. Uh, improved Ransack here, we had some, um, instead of give a hard threshold, we use um, increment 30T to gradually find the best, um, best um, process which can help us to find the sufficient matching point and also without many uh, outviews. Um, so we set up, uh, certainly we need uh, enough point to do the registration or to do the reconstruction. However, we don't want to make <coughs> obvious. So this method actually can help us to do for the purpose. Um, okay, so here, um, as we said, um, it is part of the RANSAC itself. The, there are so many parameters in the real implementation. Some parameters need to be set. and. The, the whole point is to give us enough uh, email or in enough matching point, however, without many out here, and then the bad matchings will be excluded by using the method. Right, uh, after that, we have a bunch of uh, matching point created. However, some of them is very, sp is very um, far away from a cluster. In this case, we decide um, S criteria, which can help us to exclude um, some point, for example, in this case, B and C. Um, between B, C, and uh, the cluster uh, of the point, uh, there are large distance. We use the distance as the measure to exclude those sparsely uh, distributed points. And finally, we have a very local, uh, local region as the registration uh, region. Um, right, um, so come to the experiments. Um, as we said, it's, um, it's from, yeah, it's from Changi to satellite. Um, the orbit height is 100 kilometer uh, over the moon. And here, uh, some area which is defined by the uh, exploration. The resolution is seven meters. The uh, camera used is um, push through uh, linear cameras, as I said before. Uh, there are fixed settings for the, in the payloads. Right, here is two uh, pairs. Uh, it's a pair of images <coughs> from the satellite as the input. Um, as here you can see, we have, uh, we applied SIFT RANSAC first. You can see we only have very few matching points generated. Um, when we apply ACID uh, RANSAC, that gives us many matching points, probably too many. Uh, too many means, what does too many mean? Too many means there are so many uh, things which we call it out here, it doesn't really match, but it still provide, uh, provided to us. Therefore, um, we applied the improved RANSAC, which further refined the matching points and then the, that, that is our proposed method generated result. You can see not many out here. Out here is excluded. And uh, we can use the, the existing point for the final, final, matching, the final registration reconstruction. Right, uh, here some experiment. Uh, after that, we still need to apply the S criteria to exclude those sparsely distributed points. Um, <coughs> yeah, uh, the first is the uh, after matching, and the second is the after reconstruction. The final one actually showed us the arrows. So if it's black, that means have very low error. If it's, it's 
when it is high pointed, we all have um, large arrows, registration arrows. Uh, arrow, there are two criteria or two measures to um, evaluate arrows. One is um, root mean square arrows for the from grid level after uh, before and after registration. Another is the projection arrows. Um, we use res residue to represent the reprojection error. Yeah, this uh, briefly showed us the, how the, the number of points to be generated by different methods. And you can see um, our proposed method, although um, the number of points generated is not as many as the um, Yeah, uh, not as many as uh, RANSAC itself. However, uh, later you will see the, all the points kept or retained is a good points. What we call is good points. And here is a um, root mean square error comparison. You can see our method gave a very low um, error here. Yeah, our method here is blue. It's called, we, we name it as AIRRL, stands for um, RCIFT Improved um, RANSAC um, something. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we keep the name here. Okay, um, I think, really, yeah. Uh, as I said, uh, residue arrows of registration without histogram matching. Uh, is given here. The, propo <coughs> the proposed method gives a much lower uh, residue error than uh, by using only ACID and RANSAC without improved RANSAC. That means the, after this improved RANSAC selection, the points we have or matching point we have is all good points. Uh, okay, that's something, uh, another two, apart from the first area we selected another two areas for the experiment purpose. Uh, as you can see, again, uh, yeah, the arrows is not high, it's quite low here. But however, for the last one, you can see um, still have something which we, we need to improve. Right, here again, give the uh, numerical value of the arrows, both uh, residue and uh, root mean square arrow here. You can see almost, um, yeah, that's the three uh, experiments which we presented in the previous slides. Right, I think that's all from here. Um, as I said, the work has published in remote sensing last year, so if you are interested, you can access remote sensing last year and uh, input the title, you will find that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Hong. <laughs> Any questions? Yes. What do you think there is variation in the RMS error if you've got a constant kind of orbit satellite and not very many variables in your capturing process? Well, yes. Um, uh, actually, it's to because there are two cameras, and it's the, the push broom uh, cameras. Therefore, in order to reconstruction the surface, um, say surface torrents, we do need to have this matching um, or registration. That's, for, that's the nature of the task. Yeah. 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 Is that answer to your question? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was, I was wondering why there was so much variation in the RMS. There's like, it goes from 0.5 to 0.8 yeah, between mm -hmm. A and C. Um, I was wondering why, what you contribute that, that variation to. Um, I think it was on the earlier slide at the end, was it? Yeah. yeah. End. Okay. So here, the middle RMS <coughs> changes quite, just quite a spread there. Point five to point eight. Yeah, we, we defined RMS. Uh, if you're interested, you can go to see the paper. Yeah. But, uh, this RMS actually is defined specifically uh, in, in this paper. Uh, it's, um, 
recruit was spelled based on the grade level between uh, before registration and after registration. Yeah. But what causes the, the spread? I mean, it's the variation in the, in the number there for the different image pairs. So one is 0.5, one is 0.6, one is yeah. 0.8. That's so very, just very different scenes. Yeah. Just different scenes. Yeah. Okay. That's different scenes. That's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. sure. Very interesting work. We have done similar work 2006 for the Mars, mm -hmm. uh, or Victoria Mars Express. Mm -hmm. And uh, the question comes up, um, you have a 3D terrain, you have a stereo camera. And you try to match two images with a homography. In a homography, you assume that you have a flat terrain. So in case you must have residual. So the question comes up, why not using the 3D information from the stereo match and using this to combine the images? In case you have not, and you have not to use, you can use body block adjustment with a, with a push, push block scanner. So that comes to much better results and a command, a command, especially if you are able to do um, calibration of the cells of your push probe scanner itself, you will also increase the results. We were able to create a 50 meter break for, for the Mars with some meter accuracy in, 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 in height. But right. Just by the sensor calibration. Mm -hmm. um, calibration is done by the mission itself. So we didn't have control. You, you, you have control because you have intersecting rays. Yes, we you have can, this and you, and you have, If you have many observations, you can calibrate the center itself, which leads to a much better result. You, you can you do it by yourself. Based on the uh, samples. You, you, you have a line, you have a patch room scanner, That's and the right. elements are not exactly in the same position. Yeah. And you can, can find the, the misalignment which are in the micrometer uh, domain. Oh, yes. But this but leads to a very better residuals and very important is to use the 3D information instead of the homography. Yes, yeah, so that's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, we, we had another part of work actually is working mm -hmm. on this uh, this area mm -hmm. uh, apart from the homographic uh, matrix, mm -hmm. and we can use the subpixel sure. information yeah. to do that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, okay. I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Thank you very much, Hong. Yes. I think, uh, I think we're, a few, well, we're just a few minutes behind, not too bad. Um, can I suggest that we say 15 minutes for the coffee break? Yeah, so we reconvene just before, just before 10, say 10 to, say 10 to. Sure.